Hey guys, this is Grims giving you another episode of Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition PvP Madness. Uh, today we're going to explore the Washing Pole, which is actually a much longer version than the Uchi Katana. Um, has most of the same uh, moves. Um, the only difference is, as you can see, it's it's range. It's a lot longer, a lot easier to hit opponents, especially when they're trying to roll out of the way, and you can actually um, that you can actually attack them during the roll animation, and you'll be uh, close enough with this weapon to actually punish them. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try this out, and um, I'll just show you some of the things that can uh, it can do. Um, I believe it's best used once you have uh, much low, um, uh, once you're n not having a lot of weight put on you with armor and as well as using it with the uh, Darkwood Grain Ring. But of course this is nerfed uh, down to 25% then 50% as it was in the uh, vanilla Dark, Dark Souls so you'll have to be making some heavy sacrifices but if you build your character up right then you will be able to pull this off and it's very very useful and I'll show you in just a moment. First match of the day. This guy is using uh, is that a Torius sword and a dark hand, I think. Whoa. Okay, so he's. So I'll try to show you as best as I can the range of, of this thing. Whoa, not that close. Alright. Ugh. Okay, well that was really, really sloppy, so let me <laughs> let me try that again. Okay. Oh, just barely, I was just barely out of that range. Alright, so he's going to use a little bit of magic with that. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I didn't think that was going to hit me. Okay, I'm doing a horrible job showing <laughs> showing you what this weapon can do. I just really don't want to get oh, combo stunned. There we go. I was a little bit far off uh, into the distance there. Okay. He's using a Quaylock sword. Whoa. Oh, he got me. Well, that's okay, because we're one kill up. And I believe this match might end the second I get down here. Uh, I believe so. Especially rolling and attacking with this weapon, you can get some really good hits. There we go, just like that. Alright, so, um, especially when he has very low health, you can definitely pull off a really uh, quick attack, even from far away, especially when you're rolling. Um, and especially if you're rolling on his side to where, as if he's going to appear behind you, since um, since the washing pole does have a pretty good um, area of a slash that it can hit kind of behind you, not necessarily all the way, but past your shoulder. So we got another match. Um, the um, Quaylock Sword is proving to be a little bit difficult to get around. Um, oh my gosh, this lag has to happen right now, does it? Oh gosh. Alright, so we're going to try this again. Um, best used when right after they attack. He's kind of using the, uh, the same tactic. Trying to anticipate when I'll get close to him so that way he'll already be attacking. There we are. Let's 
trying to get a quick backstab on me. Whoa. He doesn't have enough poise to withstand two hits. Oh man, that hurt. Oh! Oh, just barely had him right there. But that that's kind of what I was uh, talking about there. Um, that moment that he rolls, you can actually just walk up just a little bit and actually slash uh, before you can actually fully recover. Then you get one free hit. Um, again, I'll try to do it again. Oh, another backstab glitch. That's never good. Whoops! I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> Ugh, that is so bad. Whoa, I don't want to roll into him. Oh my god, never ending. <laughs> never ending. Yikes, a lot of lag going on. Oh! Double kill, but... Um, man, that Quailax Sword does have some range, too. A little hard to get around. There we go. You just take one good hit. Complete a backstab. Oh my god, this is just an all out brawl. But, might as well finish it. Not want to get too reckless. Battle complete. Okay, so we're facing off uh, against a player with known heavy armor, um, a lot of poise, um, a lot of lag. Alright, um, again, sorry for the like, it always appears uh, in the beginning of these recordings, but a little later, it just kind of goes away. Only with this game, that's why. Okay, so I'm not sure if he's AFK, but let's see if he's... Hey buddy, I'm here. You don't see me? Oh, man. Well, maybe actually doing some damage will let him hear his character being killed on TV. Are you here? There we go, now you're here. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we can, uh... He's wearing a... Stone shield. Ow! Alright, so he was running out of stamina there. But, um... He's just kind of slowly getting it back. There we go. Let's see if we could just end it right here instead of... Oh! Crap! Wow. I did not see that coming. It's always so hard to tell when that, uh... When he initiates that attack as soon as he gets right back up. So I think he's using... I think he was using the Claymore. Uh-oh, he's gonna use Tranquil Walk of Peace. Do as much damage as you can. Wrath of the Gods does, um, counter it. Thankfully. Oh, don't run away. That's just asking to get backstabbed. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not sure what he's really doing at the moment. <laughs> but he's got one more chance. Yikes. I think he just got really hesitant there. Every time he swings, you can just get one easy hit, just like that. I believe he probably gave up. Yeah, he probably gave up. I like what he's wearing, though. I think that's actually what Go wears, or Gaw. 
The one, um, I can't really pronounce the name, but the one that helps you kill Calamite. Definitely gotta check that out. Ouch! And he totally killed me. But, unfortunately for him, that was 3-1, three, three to one, and he's gonna end up losing that. Sucks, but, eh, he's too heavy to do anything, he can't really do much. <laughs> Alright, man, you got me. That was a good game. Okay, so we'll be facing off against the same, um, same person that we just fought before. Uh, this time he applied the, the sun buff, which is going to be extremely dangerous if we take that hit. Ooh, just was able to stay behind him during that entire roll. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, jeez. I was not doing the right things there. So I'm going to assume that he just healed up. Alright, let's go back in. He's just going to kind of take advantage since I don't have uh, a lot of poise on me right now. Which he can. Oh. See if we can heal up here really quick. Can we do it? Can we do it? Oh yes! Alright, perfect. Oh, he should, probably shouldn't have done that. Do a little raft here and there. And then he's just gonna play it turtley. For now, it's not gonna really do anything else. So we're gonna have to try to break that block as much as we can. Oh, here we go. We got one good hit. It's not over yet. Almost breaking that block. There we go. <laughs> awesome. So, he was just way too afraid of actually trying to do something. He was just kind of running out the clock, but we managed to get that last kill. And for that, we will not lose any... Um, we won't lose that streak. So, of course, now we'll have to try to run out the clock because we're out of spells. We're out of, uh, we're out of heals. He's got his own already. we got to play it safe here. We won't be able to kill him before the timer ends, sadly. But, we can just do a final backstab. <laughs> as a final goodbye. And a good game. I know. What was up with that? Alright, well, having another rematch with this guy again. He's gonna just apply the same strategy. Gave himself some green blossoms. Upgraded his weapon to sunlight. Again, we want to watch out for that run poke that he does, and not get baited out for it. Oh! Alright. Just kind of hit him and jump right out. Don't want to go too reckless, kind of like what he's doing. But I mean, I'm sure he can afford it since if he gets me two good hits, then it's certain death. I don't know what he tried to do. Oh, he tried to give himself some blossoms. That's right. Let's try to finish that out. No more Wrath of the Gods this time. I really like how um, you can't refresh your buffs or your spells even after you won.
There we go. Yikes, I think he's not carrying it again. I hope I don't have that effect on people when playing PvP matches. Oh, he disconnected. <laughs> Let that be a lesson learned to all the other players that are doing so well. You are susceptible to uh, playing games, rage players that love to leave and... Let's actually send him a message. Let, let's send him a message here. So, I've studied Oyster. GG's. Lols. But anyways, um, if you don't know how to get those kind of backstabs that I was doing on them, if they are slow and you are quite uh, fast, if you don't have a lot of equipment burden going on, you can actually uh, run towards them as they're running towards you. So say like if they're actually trying to run towards you to do, to do an attack, you can actually run towards them, but kind of move over to a little bit to the right, and then you'll see your character slowly do kind of like a, like a quick turn, kind of like that. So he'll be running and all of a sudden he'll kind of quick turn and you'll immediately be right behind him for a very quick backstab. But it only truly works at its best if he's running towards you. It works best on people that can't walk, or excuse me, that can't move as fast as you. Um, but if you try to do it, if you're trying to do it on someone that's as fast as you, it can be quite difficult. You can probably get backstabbed yourself because he's probably using that technique on you. So you definitely want to be careful on that one. Okay, so we're going to be fighting against Chokerific. Um, this guy's actually learning some PvP, so um, let's see if we can teach him some things. Um, I find it punishing on every player's uh, worst uh, um, sorry, I, I can't think right now. <laughs> oh, that was a pretty good dodge there. But punishing most of their mistakes is going to help him learn way faster. There we go. I like how he utilizes the, the back dash just like that. I've never seen it really, but I mean, you can get some good uh, attacks, especially with that weapon he's using. Uh, if you notice there, I, I did try to uh, swing when he rolled and it was able to hit him. Oh, okay. But anyways, um, also I did run uh, completely straight for him and leaned a little bit to my right, enabling my character to just kind of circle right around him for a quick backstab. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, that time, oh, that was so smart. Oh my god. That was really smart of him to jump back. Just completely messed up my backstab. Oh, just big mistake again. He's try trying to roll in front of another player is very dangerous, especially when they're fast. I'm sure you can get away with it um, if they are uh, both are moderately slow. But um, oh, that time would have been a lot of backstabs there. Very dangerous for him. Oh my gosh, I almost got hit. I'm trying to end it, but <laughs> so close to dying. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that was a good that was a good one. Oh jeez. I don't know if I'll be able to get him in time. It said one minute left, but oh man. Alright, where is he? There he is. Gotta end it quick. Gotta end it quick. Yes, <laughs> there we go. I just waited for his reaction once I uh, ran in front of him. I didn't want to end it uh, with the Wrath of the Gods because um, it just would have been more exciting. But, um... Um, again, you always want to wait for the reactions. If you need to end something so quick, just try to pressure instead of uh, 
pressure in a way where you're not trying to melee, but you're trying to get close to them, which they feel like, um, uh, which they feel like uh, you're trying to backstab. Then you, you can kind of see the, uh, the kinds of decisions that they like to make once uh, they're put under pressure. And then you'll be able to read their actions way more. Um, it is dangerous, you gotta get used to it, uh, because of course some players might just thrash and swing everywhere, and if you're on low health trying to pressure them, I think that's probably not gonna work, so you gotta definitely be careful, for sure. Okay, so we're gonna be fighting against uh, Chogorific again. Let's see if he uh, pulls out any new tactics. Again, you don't want to get hit by that weapon that he's using with low poise, such as mine. Uh, if you would have noticed earlier in the first match, I was getting combo stunned and that's very dangerous. Oh, and that, um, that's a really good maneuver that he's doing though. Definitely denies a lot of backstabs, but again, if he uses it at the wrong time, it can be very unforgiving. There we go. Gotta be very careful here. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I was trying to get uh, a last second backstab on him, but um, again, that 360 attack definitely prevents that. Uh, if I did have a little bit more poise, though, I was I would I would have been able to do it, but this poise, it's not gonna happen. But he wants to be careful. Um, not doing that too often because it starts it starts to get uh, easier to read uh, when he's when he'll be able to do that again, um, especially when uh, with a quick weapon like the washing pole, I could just kind of roll out of the way and do a quick hit right after he's done, uh, dodge his attack and then hit him, kind of like that. But I missed there, so that that's definitely something he needs to look out for. Oh. It's definitely one of the weaknesses for, you know, uh, for players that have uh, a lot of- Oh, that was an awesome backstab. Okay, let's see if we can... Nice, he's mixing it up a little bit, that's great. That's really good. Oh, but then at the end, he wouldn't. He just got trapped behind that pillar. But that was great. He was really mixing it up there, and he he just didn't want me to read his um, his moves or anything. And he denied a couple backstabs. It's really good. But the only thing I would say is um, he's just showing his back way too often. Um, he's leaving himself open for way too many uh, way too many attacks, especially when he backs up and does kind of like that. Uh, that 360 slash but props to him I mean he is getting better that's that's really good so um, hopefully he'll be able to learn and maybe we can play some more matches in the future well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of PvP Madness we definitely learned some new things especially with the watching pole I hope you guys learned a few things too um, learning that uh, range of that weapon is extremely important especially once you uh, start utilizing more roles with uh, attacks at the end um, and especially when you're trying to um, attack somebody that's rolling away from you and trying to hit them upon recovery so that's very important to um, to learn so that way um, opponents will be able to get away from you so easily and you can end up closing the match but um, again we're gonna have many more videos to come with many more weapons and armor builds again if you guys have any uh, suggestions uh, about builds or weapons please let me know I'm open to all suggestions, really, um, and definitely let me know if you guys have, uh, if you guys want to challenge me of any kind. I am level 121 on here, and I will be getting on the Xbox soon um, at any level. So please let me know, and uh, I'll be sure to record all those matches. It should be fun. I hope you guys are liking all these videos. Please don't forget to comment, uh, like, subscribe. It would really help me out. 
Um, and again, I'm having a lot of fun doing all these videos. So see you guys next time uh, very soon. Have a good one.